In today's video, I want to do something a little different than I normally do on this channel. Obviously, if you've watched this channel at all, I talk a lot about how to get into the fire service, what to expect in the fire service, interviews, fitness, all sorts of things like that. But in today's video, I want to talk about some great books that I think all firefighters, young firefighters, aspiring firefighters, even older firefighters, really anybody could read. These are books that have had a big impact on me and I've learned some great lessons from. So I want to share them with you, tell you a little bit about them and what I think you might be able to get from them. So I can hear you already. Maybe you're saying you're not a big reader. You don't have time to read. You're a slow reader. Maybe you're one of those people that every time you sit down to read a book, even if you're interested in it, you still fall asleep. Well, good thing for you, audiobooks.com is offering with if you sign up for a free trial you get three free audiobooks from them i will put a link in the description below and just so you're aware it is an affiliate link that means nothing to you it adds no cost to you but it helps out the channel so if that's something you're willing to do or something you're interested in, please do if not that's fine too so let's get right into the books and the first one is a very small simple book and it really has a simple premise and it is called make your bed it is written by Admiral William McRaven, who was a, I think, 37 or 38 year Navy SEAL. Um, this book was actually inspired from a commencement speech that he gave at the University of Texas. And essentially the lesson from this book, well, the main lesson is obviously make your bed. And the idea behind it is when you wake up, the first thing that you should do is make your bed so that no matter what happens that day, you know you accomplished at least one thing. That's a really good lesson to take into your life, but also the other lesson that I took from this book was that it's the little things when you add them up over time that lead to big results. And this is something, especially in our culture today, where everybody's looking for 10 minute abs and you know 30 second microwavable foods and things like that. They don't wanna do, they don't wanna discipline themselves to do the daily little things. And this is written by a great man and it's a great lesson um, just to take into your daily life. Do the little things every day and eventually you will get great results. It's not a difficult read. As you can see, this is a fairly small book, fairly large print, um, but it's definitely something, it's a good one to have by your bedside and just remind yourself of this important lesson. The next one I want to talk about is one that probably most of you haven't heard of, but I've discovered this author in this book a few years ago and I thought he was, his idea was particularly profound. And the, this book is called Do the Work by a man named Stephen Pressfield. And he's written some other books, uh, The War of Art, Turning Pro. He has a handful of other books out there. Maybe you're familiar with those, but essentially do the work is his manifesto of the idea of resistance. And if you're unfamiliar with the idea of resistance, resistance is that little voice in the back of your head that when you know you should be doing something, keeps you from doing the work to get what you want. Resistance can be procrastination. Resistance can be unhealthy food. Resistance can be smoking, uh, addiction. It can be all sorts of things. And in this book, and again, this is not huge print. This is not a difficult book to read. Um, like I said, it, it, it isn't meant to be some big novel, um, but it's just a really good reminder of every single day you need to wake up, you need to do the work, you need to fight the resistance and push through it. Easy to read. Um, again, another one that's good to have by your bedside. I've had this book for several years and I recommend it to everybody. Now the next book has been around for a very long time. And some people, when they see this book or hear about this book, they say, well, there's nothing new in that. Well, sometimes the best lessons are the old lessons. And this book is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Uh, actually, it says right here, over 75 years in print. I've, this book, I don't know exactly when this book was written, but probably 80 some years ago at this point. Um, this is good, especially for people to, looking to get into the fire service and firefighters, because whether you like it or not, public safety and public perception are intertwined. And it's important when you're out and then you're in the face of the public that you know how to interact with people and deal with people in a good way and make a good impression. This is also important for if you're a new or aspiring firefighter, sometimes fitting into a new crew or a new group can be a little difficult. Some basic lessons in this book that can be taken are just how to fit in with people, how to bring people over to your way of thinking without being adversarial. Um, again, nothing in this book is earth shattering, probably nothing you couldn't think through yourself, but it's just a good reminder. There's a reason this book has been in print for so long, it's because it's classic lessons. Next book I want to talk about is from a guy who's pretty popular these days. Um, he's all over YouTube. He has his own podcast. Um, it seems like he's everywhere. 
Uh, and this is maybe a book you may not have heard of, uh, but it's called Discipline Equals Freedom, The Field Manual by Jocko Willink. If you're unfamiliar with who Jocko Willink, uh, he is a longtime Navy SEAL, I believe he's retired now, uh, but he was a longtime Navy SEAL, a commander in the Navy SEALs, um, very intense guy. He looks like they built him in a lab. Uh, but his whole mantra is discipline. And the idea, be, and again, this is not a crazy, hard, difficult read. Um, as you can see, it's not, it's, it's probably about 200 pages, but it's nothing crazy. Um, the idea behind it is in our society, especially in the younger generations, they think that having discipline means that you're going to be boxed in and it's going to limit your freedom. But the truth is, the more you discipline yourself to do the things that you need to do, the more freedom, the more opportunity, and the more choices you will have in your life. I'm sure there's a lot of older firefighters that are going to watch this and say, boy, there's the younger generation really needs this. And they're probably right. Um, so I would highly recommend this book. Again, this is another good one to have by the bedside. Uh, I mean, even right here on the back, it just says there is no shortcut. There is no hack. There's only one way. So get after it. So it's all about getting up, getting after it, having the discipline to do what you need to do. Very good book written by a very impressive person. So the next book, I don't actually, I realized when I was getting ready to make this video, I don't actually have the print version of this book. I only have the audio book of it. Um, and it is called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Now, again, David Goggins is all over the internet right now. And if you're unfamiliar with who David Goggins is, he is also a Navy SEAL or was also a Navy SEAL uh, ultra marathoner. He's constantly referred to as the toughest man on the planet and they're probably correct. Um, just Google David Goggins, you'll find all sorts of stuff about him. If you're sensitive to uh, curse words, he's probably not for you, um, but uh, great lessons. It's essentially his autobiography going from what a difficult life he had growing up and the things that he overcome, the things that he overcame and his mindset on how he turned himself into essentially the toughest man in the world. Uh, great book though, like I said, I don't have the print version. I actually have it only on audiobook. Um, but I would highly recommend that book as well. And then the last book I wanted to talk about, and I really thought about whether or not I would include this in, in this video, not because it's not a great book, but because unfortunately he has become, for a lot of people, a polarizing figure. And I don't really understand why. And I would encourage you to go listen to his longer form uh, interviews. He's been on Joe Rogan two or three times. He's been on God, he's been on a bunch of podcasts. He's all over YouTube, his lectures, his, his, his uh, speeches. Um, but this book I thought was very useful and I think it would particularly be useful, useful for the younger generation of firefighters. Not to say that older generation of firefighters can't get anything from it as well, but the book is Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. Um, I thought this was a particularly profound book. There's a whole bunch of lessons in this book. Um, if you're not a big reader, maybe an audiobook version would be a little bit better for you. It's a little bit longer of a book. Um, but the ultimate, the ultimate lesson that I took from this book was the importance of taking responsibility for your life, taking responsibility for yourself, your family, your community, and so on. And as a firefighter, that's a really important lesson that you need to integrate into your life because when you become a firefighter, you're going to have to do that, whether you like it or not. You're going to have to take care of yourself. You're going to have to take care of your crew. You're going to have to be responsible for your community. Um, and so that's the overarching lesson. Like I said, there's other lessons in this book as well. Um, and unfortunately, it's, it's because I don't want this book to detract from the rest of the video, uh, simply because I think he's unfairly labeled um, as something that he's not. So I would encourage you to, if, you, if you've never heard of him, go listen to the book or go listen to some of his other interviews out there. Ironically enough, he did actually just write another book that came out about a week ago, and I got a copy of that as well, um, and I'm about halfway through it. It's Beyond Order, 12 More Rules for Life. Also a very good book, um, but if you're just new to him and you're unfamiliar, I would recommend starting with the 12 Rules for Life. So, as always, I hope you found that useful, and I hope you found that helpful. I plan on doing another one of these on leadership-specific books. I think uh, the fire service always needs, all organizations need great leaders and they need more leaders and more people that are willing to step up and take on responsibility. Uh, so I'll be doing another video on that with some other books, some ones that aren't 
you don't typically hear about. Everybody's heard about Buddy to Boss and all the other ones in the fire service, but really good leadership books that aren't necessarily fire directed. So like I said, as always, I hope you found this useful and helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and check out the link below if you're interested in three free audiobooks from audiobooks.com. And I will see you guys in the next video.